Hey everybody, here with this 1977 red on gray Chevy Corvette Stingray. Uh, it's been sitting on our shop for a couple weeks. I've been asked to do a quick cold start video, so Sophie and I are going to do that. I'm gonna pull the cover off here for you. In the meantime, as I'm getting this off, the nice thing about this car is it is a actual mile, 15,000 mile Corvette. Uh, actually, it's actually 14,990 miles is what it says on the odometer. And apparently uh, we have registration documentation that verifies those miles. So it's really a special car from the mileage standpoint. It's uh, obviously been stored inside and been very, very well taken care of. Uh, it's been sitting in our shop here since then. Um, yeah, we're gonna do a cold start. We're gonna give you a little extra footage and kind of show you some things around it. I, I know it has new headlight actuators in it, so we'll show you how the headlights work. But the engine is uh, ice cold. Uh, well, as ice cold as it is here in Florida, because the temperature here is, you know, always in the 90s. Uh, I'll go to the other side. I think you'll be able to see a little better. The, uh, I always kind of joke, oh, this one doesn't have a cover. So here's a manifold. Hand on it. I always say ice cold, but really not ice cold because it's Florida. Not that cold here. And it's probably 88 degrees right now. So Sophie's going to start it up. I'm going to go to the back and then I'll come back to the engine. <clears throat> Really good looking car. It'll kick down once it warms up. Engine's really quiet. You see, there's no lights on in the dash. Um, we did, uh, these cars are notorious. cars are notorious for having vacuum actuators and the headlights not work. Hey Sophie, you want to pull the headlights? And uh, we had them both replaced recently so they have brand new headlight actuators. So that's kind of neat. Uh, a lot of times there's issues with those. But uh, yeah. Car is really in great condition. Um, I guess somebody had a question about this center console pad. Uh, that's just an add-on for uh, your armrest. It's an aftermarket, I believe. The car is in really great condition. The steering wheel is very nice. The interior is in good condition. 1977. It's got the t removable T-tops. Awesome, cool looking luggage rack. Paint's in really good condition. I'd say probably, a, I'm a little OCD, so I would say the paint's, uh, I don't know, I'd say a seven, 7.4. You can find little imperfections in it, but from five, 10 feet away, the car looks really nice. 
We weren't asked to do a test drive on this one because it's buried back here behind our car, stored with a cover on it. It's been uh, in a secured environment inside. All the lights work. But there you go. I'm gonna rev it up a couple times. There we go. Let's see, quiet. Listen to the engine. Not a fan of those old 70s cars that you start up and they rev. The, the, the uh, automatic choke keeps them revving way up for a while. But that's just the way they are. That's the way they built them. This is quiet. No lifter noise. Engine is super, super quiet, like it should be, because it's got 15,000 miles on it. Rallies, tires, good looking car. Anyway, we were asked to do a uh, cold start. We gave you a cold start and a little bit more. So there you go. Put the headlights down. Ah, yes, I love that. Alrighty, everyone, take care.